Okay, so thanks for watching the sea conditioning goal based training video. What I'm going to do right now is explain why I had my toes on the mat. It's very important to understand. What I'm doing is I'm trying to train the way I want to perform. That is, when you ski, you want to have your weight in your toes. Now, by putting my toes on top of a small surface, such as a mat, what I do is I actually make the body lean back, which in turn, the body reacts by leaning forward. Just as if you were standing still and I tried to push you back, all the muscles in your front would switch on to match that, to match that force, to match that resistance that was being imposed upon you. So when I stand on this mat, the first thing that happens is my weight gets put in my heels. But what I want to do when I'm squatting is I, I'm actually forced to put more weight forward. Now, if I did it the way you see people do in the gym, where they put it underneath their heels, then that actually doesn't get me what I want. Because what that does is tilt me up, which makes me lean further back in my stance. And if you're on skis, you know that if you're leaning back on your skis, your tips are coming up, and that's bad news in anyone's language. So, for you, remember this. Put something small underneath the front of your feet, and that will do two things. One, it'll stimulate you to learn to squat with your weight leaning forward, because your feet will be tilting you back, and you will match that by wanting to lean forward. Two, it'll encourage your calves to lengthen as they strengthen. In other words, again, if I go with a tilted heel, just as if I was wearing high heels, not that I do that, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but <laughs> it's impossible to find size 15 high heels anyway. But if I was wearing high heels, my calves would always be shortened. They'd always be short. And I would never have any reason for them to be long until I got on the ski course when I need them to be long and dynamic and strong. So, two reasons. One, teach your body to lean forward. Two, you're getting an extra stretch out of the calf, which is great for skiing and being able to absorb that load and absorb that shock and turn with power and strength and grace. Cool. I'm Jamie Atlas. You're watching me at Bonzo Bodies. That's been a ski conditioning insider tip that you won't see in any other ski conditioning program. Unless you're running a ski conditioning program, in which case, feel free to use it. Go ahead. The more people that train the way you ski, the better we will all ski. Great. I'm Jamie Atlas. You have a great day. Wow, wow, wow.